Republicans throughout this island and beyond, I extend our heartfelt sympathies to Bobby's beloved partner, Teresa, the children and grandchildren, to Bobby's brother, Seamus and Brian, his sister, Geraldine, and many, many friends and comrades throughout Ireland. I ask Leifre in the Hayden, Goro Adam Gilish. I encourage you, boy, to manish and shelter actual Grenya Holland to her negative. I guess kiss to her Grenya and we're in Pinche and Spraja rushing to a y'all. and particularly with his very close friends. And I think that's a good thing. We've lost a crown, Taka. We've lost a crown, Lake. I've known many sound people, but Bobby was out on his own. He was always positive. He was a great motivator. One comrade told me one day, that Bobby's story would make you think you could fly a plane. Nero in rod do janta aga. And when you talk to him, whatever the issue, you always came away knowing that he would move heaven and earth to do what was needed to be done. It was required of them. They stepped into the bridge. On the 20th of August, the day that the last hunger striker, Mickey Devine, died, Big Bob was captured following a gun attack on British soldiers in Anderson's town. He was later sentenced to 18 years, and the 1983 escape came soon after that. Now, it wasn't all down to Big Bobby. It was a team effort. His job as OC on the day was to coordinate the escape. He always said the biggest contribution to making that day so successful was the comradeship. 38 Republican POWs, the biggest escape in British penal history. 